<clears throat> so we're gonna go over a couple of things um, for one this is a reverse plug for 1911 this is a 1911 from Rock Island Armory it is clear uh, this specifically is an A1, M19, A1, um, MS Tactical 2. Um, so, <clears throat> the reverse plug. This reverse plug is one, I swapped it out with a new one because I didn't put it in right and it ended up getting damaged right. I'm not sure if it's going to show in the video footage right there so there's a lip going around here and if you look here the lip here is fine Let's see if I can raise it up a little bit so you can see in that dark background um, screen is trying to time out so it's it's broken right there it's just mashed down there is some material missing I'm not sure uh, it, it, I mean, it operates fine. I haven't fired around from it, but I have worked the slide. And the thing is, I don't know if uh, this is enough damage to cause an issue under full power. I guess uh, un under firing, you know, under discharge. So uh, I ordered another one. Now you can get parts for Rock Island Armory handguns from the Rock Island Island Armory website um, at at advancedtactical.com so I went there and I looked for this plug specifically for uh, mid-sized uh, 1911s and they had the entry listed but it wasn't in stock um, so I searched for the part number on uh, Google and saw that what is it Hooper Gunworks had them in stock for $14 so I ordered it and so we're gonna take this apart here so we can show because there's a difference between the two um, and we'll, we'll talk about that in a second so we're gonna take this apart Okay. and this is a full-length guide rod with a bow barrel so uh requires either a, a tool or a paper clip okay stay there okay it's there so now we take this out slides right out so the part that's on there that's installed right now is the one that I ordered so I've already replaced a part so we'll look at it installed uh, I guess we'll look at it as it's installed in this current configuration which is with the rod recoil rod and spring uh, so this is a recoil spring uh, and rod assembly, I guess. Um, so if you look here, the difference between the two is that there's a ramp right here or a cradle. So this actually makes it a lot easier to install and it prevents that from happening. So another thing is, so I have a 10 millimeter variant of this on the way. Um, it is the high capacity full size model. Um, and occasionally you don't want to just pull this off, especially uh, and, and, and reinstall it, especially if you've been to the range and shot a lot of rounds through it. And it, you know, if the gun is dirty, this is more than likely going to be dirty as well. Uh, so, in order to clean this, you have to take it apart. So. I'm able to, because this is a 9mm and the spring isn't so bad, I'm actually able to use my fingers to, to get this apart. But with the 10mm, that's probably going to be something I'm not going to want to do. Or, you know, I might not even be able to do it. So, 
<clears throat> I want to show a method of taking this assembly apart uh, using the slide. So it came out, it was in the gun here, right? So we're going to use the slide and we're going to reverse it so that it's sitting like this. The tines on the uh, on this end of the recoil uh, guide rod are pointing down, and then we're going to place this here like this, and then we're going to push down. We're going to use the the uh, the slide as a leverage tool, and there you go. So it's a part. So <clears throat> I didn't see that. I saw that documented once by. Uh, Such double zero um, when he was trying to uh, when he was demonstrating how to take apart an, an SR 1911 10 millimeter so now we can look at these two parts and as you can see there there's that cradle otherwise the parts are the same so I have a feeling that they improved upon this by create adding this cradle to prevent folks from doing this so um, to get the gun back do the same thing now the trick here is because I use the the underside when using the paper clip It's harder to it's harder to get that uh, that pin in there. So bear with me, quick, real quick. I believe that's it. And there you go. So we'll put the gun back together. It's the barrel. And by the way, this is a nine millimeter variant. I love this gun. I don't fire it as much as I. I'd like to because I have a lot of guns and so I, I tend to kind of neglect this one even though what is that making sure that there's no oh that's the plastic coming from the uh, the paper clip excuse me Okay. Always have a problem here getting the barrel link lined up with the hole so that I can get the uh I think that's off a bit. I'll try and see. I doubt that it's gonna go in. Nope. I need to send it forward a bit. There you go. Maybe that'll work. Yep. Okay. Is it in? Yep. Okay. And I want to sign. And there you go. So, um, yeah, I love this gun. Um, I like it because it's a nine millimeter and this gun is probably two pounds. So uh, there's enough mass on the gun to negate the recoil uh, or at least keep it from reaching my hands. So uh, it's it, it's a soft, it's definitely a soft shooter. Uh, what I've done is I've uh, so I have a, a 22 TCM with a 9 millimeter barrel in the safe, um, which almost looks the same as this, except that one is a, what is it, a, it's a TAC Ultra uh, midsize. So it's got the rail. Um, so beyond that, they look the same. The slide serrations are a little bit different, 
the, but everything else is exactly the same. Um, the well, the, internally the difference is that that isn't you know the the Tac Ultra <clears throat> 22 TCM that I have in the safe is not um, it's not a bull barrel, so it's 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 somewhat easier to take apart, um, but it doesn't feel as solid. I guess the difference. What I like about the 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 full guide rod uh, 1911s is that it it doesn't feel like there's any slop. Now the con is that you need usually need an extra tool here uh, if you have a bull barreled, yeah, which I do. Uh, so so there is that. But uh, the the bushing, I guess 1911. Well, the the 22 TCM that I have. That doesn't, it's not sloppy, but the, I have a Metro Arms 1911, all three of those are mid-size, but that one has the short uh, guide rod, um, and it doesn't, I mean, it, it's smooth when you rack it, but you hear some binding of the spring, uh, and you, you can actually feel it a little bit, so it doesn't feel as, as solid in that regard, and that's just my opinion. But what I've done to this so far is that, so Rock Island Armories, when they come from the factory, the, the fiber optic filament is uh, is dirty, so it doesn't tend to be as bright. Um, I've replaced that with a True Glow filament. Uh, what you want to use is, uh, if you're going to do it yourself, you need 0.060 inch 